Hey guys, what up? This is Atolf Alex, and today's tutorial is how to create snap zoom effect. And I've been using this effect quite a lot lately on um, on my own personal montage video. And it's pretty easy on how you can create this, and no any crazy plugin is required. So first of all, I have a drawing shot here uh, of this building, and it's recommended to shoot in 4K video quality because you wanna because you'll basically digitally zoom in in post. So make sure you shoot in 4K. Uh, plus note is make sure your camera doesn't really move around a lot. In this case, this drone shot just moved from left to right, so it's okay. It's fine to move from the X and Y axis, but it's not recommended to move your camera forward or backward. That will create a vertical effect because you actually want to snap zoom. So. If it possible, if, if you want to move around, make sure you don't move back and forth a lot. Just left or right crawl is fine, okay? Just don't move forward or backward to create this effect even better. So let's just say I want to zoom in into this building instantly or like rapidly. All I have to do is just to use pan and crop. Yes, no plugin, just use pan and crop. So I want to start my first keyframe around this. Uh, maybe let's just start up from here and i think i'll go forward a bit more and let's just add one keyframe there and to sell off this effect uh, better just move it a tiny bit not too much and then add another uh, keyframe so the second keyframe here since uh, the width is 3840 pixel means 4k quality you want to zoom in around 1920 so that's the max we can zoom in since we are editing in uh, full hd timeline so this is the max I can go unless you're shooting in 8k quality that's a different story so um, not only you can zoom you can also move around if you want I just want to move it around here maybe there no nice so but it's just a linear zoom okay it doesn't have that nice curvature of movement so what you can do the first keyframe you can add smoothness and the second one you add slow so when you play back, you can see the nice movement from A to B. It really nice to slowly zoom in. Or you can make it even faster just by shortening the length to travel off from the A keyframe to B keyframe. But whatever it is, the first keyframe must always be smooth and the second one you set it into slow and it looks something like this. Now again, to sell off this effect even better, you can add motion blur. Now if you don't know, Vegas Pro do have motion blur. All you have to do is press Ctrl, Shift and B and it will enable another uh, uh, track here. So all you have to do is right click on the uh, timeline and insert a video resampling. Now just go where the first keyframe starts, just somewhere around here. And then you move a bit forward where the second keyframe ends. Now a bit of quarter end here, you add another one and set it around, let's just say 200. Yeah, not too much, just a bit. We can go a bit higher. Now once you add resampling, you can add another one, which is motion blur. Same position as the video resampling. And you want to set it around, not too much, just a bit, 7%. See? That's too much, so I'm just going to reduce it around maybe 5%. And there you go, motion blur is added into your video. Now that's how you do snap zoom effect in Vegas Pro. So if you have any question related, you can just leave it down in the comment section. And uh, please subscribe and uh, like this video. And see you guys on my next upcoming tutorial video. Bye.